Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Well, do you remember my latest laptop, my gaming laptop from HP, the Omen 17.3 inches, I believe the one that I'm using for doing um, video editing when I'm on the road. Well, guess what? Today is going to be my first upgrade to this laptop. Now I have several upgrades planned for this, but for this first one, what I decided to do, because it's the first thing that I noticed that really needs upgrading is to make sure that the network can run a little bit faster, at least in an environment like my home office where the network is a 10 gig network. So what I went ahead and did is I purchased this five gig USB adapter from Sabrent. Now I haven't tried it. Hopefully it works as advertised and it can actually connect to my local 10 gig switch in five gig mode and thereby make this laptop work a lot better. So let me open this up, take a look, see what's in it, and then we'll hook it up to the laptop and we'll see what we got. Oh, it's got a few papers in it. Let's see, uh, spread the love online. I guess it's their charity primarily. It's got a little manual. I'll have to spend a few minutes with that before I actually hook it up and make sure I get it right. And then we got uh, in here the actual device. It's pretty hefty and actually quite heavy. I'm a little bit surprised. It's a pretty solid. It's got a probably an aluminum alloy case to it. So that's pretty good. Looks like at one end, it's got the uh, network adapter that will connect to the 10 gig, or in this case, it only has to be able to support up to five gig. And at the other end, it has a USB-C. So that's, there's no other connectors on it. It's nice for cooling. It looks like it's got cooling ribs to it and everything else. So we'll see how that works out. Let's see what else is in the box here. Well, it's got, uh, let's see a cable here. That's, oh, I have to break the plastic. Oh, it's a USB 3.0 type A to a USB-C. Let's see how long this is. It's not that long. It's only probably about 18 inches to two feet at the most that I can see here, which is probably good enough because we're going to keep this in relatively close proximity. It's got a second cable in here. Let's see what this one is. Again, I have to break it open. Probably about the same length, but we'll double check that here. Yep, about the same thing. And this is a USB-C to USB-C, which is pretty good. I guess they give you the two options. If you have a device like my laptop, which is a USB-C, it has the connector on it. I should be able to use the USB-C to USB-C. But if I wanted to hook it up to a device that didn't have that, I could use the one that's USB-A to USB-C. So they give you two cables. That's very good. Okay. I'll read the instructions and then we'll hook it up. And I'm going to show you how it runs on just the one gig port, which is all that it has in this particular PC right now, a one gig port for network connectivity. It sits right over here, as I showed in the original introduction. So we'll hook it up to that and we'll do some uh, testing with iPerf3, which is by the default, the de facto way of measuring uh, the network speed on, the, on a local area network. So that's what I'll be using today. And I'll show you the actual screen printouts of that as we do it. And then we'll go ahead and connect this up and we'll see what happens when we run it with this connected to it. I understand that it's supposed to automatically, according to the online ad for this, it's supposed to automatically update the drivers, but it also acts as a USB stick if you're not connected in order to get the drivers off of it. So it has the drivers on there as well. And it'll appear as just a regular USB type, I guess, you know, a type A low uh, volume. USB stick, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll probably take a look at that as well and see what appears on that stick. So let's get started. Stick around to the end, then you'll see this running and you'll see the performance test and it goes along with it. Okay, let's test out the laptop with its uh, pre-existing one gig interface. I've got it connected all up already to the standard RJ45 connector for one gig. I've got iPerf already loaded here. So I will go ahead and run it and see what we get. iPerf 3, I have to run it in client mode. And then I have to give it the address of the server that will be responding to it. Well, that's pretty good. It's like uh, almost one full gig. It's uh, 9.49 megabits per second or 949 megabits per second. Let me run it again because sometimes it changes with a second run. Well, in this case, it's not changing. It's a 949 megabits per second, which is close enough to one gig. So that goes to show you how this thing is functioning properly at its uh, normal speed. So now let me go ahead and hook up the Sabrent and see what we get. Okay, let's see what happens when I plug it into the USB connector. 
Let's see if it does anything. Well, it says a CD-ROM drive. It actually sees it as a CD-ROM drive, drive D. So at that point, I believe, according to the instructions, it actually, let's take a look at this PC. Sure enough, it does have a drive D in there. Now, I didn't see it automatically update, so uh, I'll have to test it first and see if it does. Otherwise, I will go ahead and install this driver that's actually on the CD-ROM drive. So let me go ahead and try that and see what happens when I connect up the network cable to it. Let me move the network cable from the one gig port on the laptop over to this Sabrent drive and let's see what we get. I see lights coming on in the Sabrent drive itself. Let's see what it looks like. It hasn't really connected yet according to my route, my switch. What do we have in terms of the network itself? Let me go ahead and open up the, uh, the network and see if we have anything here. So if I go to uh, YouTube, do we see anything? Well, it finds it. So it says we're connected. I'm not sure what speed it's connected at, but at least we're connected. I moved the connector from the one gig port to the Sabrent. It's, uh, it is showing some lights on the Sabrent, a, a green light. I'll have to see what that means. I believe that may be it running at uh, at least one of the speeds. I can't tell what speed it's at at this point, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, according to my router, it's only connected at one gig. So what I'll have to do is load the drivers off of that uh, makeshift CD-ROM that it became when it installed here. So let me go into there, this one right here. I'll go into the X64 and I'll run this uh, tool here and see what we get. Let's see if it installs everything, okay? I'm going to say, uh, I have to accept it, I'll install it. I have to get my passwords. Okay. Looks like it has installed. Let's see what it says here, uh, down at the bottom here, it says something. Windows update, I have to restart it. So let me go ahead and restart it. I'll come right back and see what it looks like because maybe it needs a, a restart in order for this to work. So let me go ahead. And... Okay, it looks much better. My switch actually says it's connected at five gig. I've never seen it on my switch before. I've never had a five gig device before, but it clearly is the case. It uses a different color light and everything. Let me see what the actual device says. Oh yeah, now it shows uh, different lights on it. So let me go ahead and uh, do a test. And we'll compare it to the original results we got with the one gig port a few minutes ago. Okay, let's... Uh... Okay, I have the actual um, EPARF that I need to run. IPARF, that is. So I'll do a CD to... What's it? Oh, it went up to... Looks like 3.55, but you usually have to run IPARF twice to get the true numbers. So let me try it again. I'll up arrow and I'll try it again. Let's see if we get the second time. Well, it definitely exceeds 2.5 gig. It looks like it hits about three and a half gig, which is pretty good. What I'll have to do is retest that closer to the downstairs switch because we're going through two switches at this point. Although the switch I'm looking at it right now shows the orange light which means that it believes it's connected at five gig. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll go and do that and, and see what happens. Let me shut this down. Okay, I went closer to the, uh, the main switch that I have for 10 gig, and this is the results. It really didn't change it too much. It's still about three and a half gig, which is better than two and a half. It still shows the light on my uh, switch at both ends as five gig, but it's not getting that transfer rate with uh, iPerf 3. So that's where it's at. Okay, so let me summarize. Well, that completes this test. It does work. It just doesn't hit the speeds that I would have hoped it would hit. It only gets up to about 3.5 gigabytes with this laptop. It might be a limitation of the laptop itself. But one thing to note about this thing, it does get quite warm. So it's a good thing it's got a nice cast aluminum casing to it because it is quite warm as I check it out here after taking it off the laptop. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I will be using it. Sometimes when I'm traveling, the uh, hotels or whatever have higher speed internet than one gig. So I think this will help quite a bit. So, okay. So thanks for watching. Until the next time, take care.